All right, so there you're seeing that live picture uh, of the residence of Governor Mike Pence, where we now know that Donald Trump is meeting with them, having breakfast. Uh, and as Major points out, he is on the short list. There are others that people are considering, including uh, uh, from his camp are considering, including Newt Gingrich, former House Speaker, uh, as well as Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey. Uh, there was even uh, talk of perhaps bringing in General Mike Flynn, mm -hmm. uh, somebody, though, who is a registered Democrat, so perhaps seeing a little a bit out of the out of the ordinary. I'm told that Major Garrett is standing uh, not too far away from where this is happening, and he joins us now live. So, Major, this stakeout that we see all the news crews out there, everybody buzzing. What's going on over there? Welcome to the choreography of the final stages of a vice presidential running mate selection. <laughs> the time is drawing near for Donald Trump to announce on Friday, as we have been told, his running mate. I'm standing on the lawn of Indiana Governor Mike Pence. He is inside with Donald Trump and Ivanka Trump, his daughter, her husband, Jared Kushner, and Don Jr. If you are going to ask yourself who are the most important family advisors to Donald Trump, I just named the three. And they're all here meeting the Indiana governor. And this looks in every way, shape, or form like the final preparations to name Mike Pence, Donald Trump's running mate. Until that actually happens, we don't know for sure. But if you're looking at, as I have seen before, the choreography of this process, this is exactly what it looks like. A final meeting, all the family, the principal, meaning Donald Trump, the likely, Demo the likely uh, vice presidential nominee, also there, and either one last meeting or certainly one preparatory meeting for an announcement we expect on Friday. Major, talk to us a little bit about Governor Pence. We know he has a reputation for being mild-mannered. How would he compliment Trump? So one of the interesting things about this process from my perspective is that Pence has been for Paul Manafort, the campaign manager, and for many in Donald Trump's own family, a likely choice and the favorite choice for a couple of reasons. One, he has what Donald Trump says he needs in a vice president, someone who has some Washington experience, but also a perspective of a sitting governor. Mike Pence has both of those. And when he was in the House of Representatives, he was in the leadership. He was elected the very same year that Paul Ryan was to Congress. He has very close relationship to the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. That's important for Donald Trump. It's important for the political advisors around him. And Pence had a history in Congress of not being a get along and go along kind of conservative. He opposed the George W. Bush administration on education reform, no child left behind. He opposed efforts to bail out the auto industry in the height of the Great Recession and did other things that got him on the minds of Tea Party Republicans even before Tea Party Republicans had sort of thoroughly organized themselves into now what we consider a semi-important force within the Republican Party conversation. So Pence checks a lot of boxes, not to mention the fact he has from the vantage point of social conservatives, nearly impeccable legislative credentials. He opposes abortion rights. He really does, from a political perspective and from a leadership and Washington perspective, check almost every single box that Donald Trump says he wants in a running mate. Also, and this is significant, Mike Pence is one of the few youngish Republicans who have been willing to go through this vetting process, meaning he's been willing to attach his own political future to Donald Trump. If you look at New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, he's at the end of his run as governor of New Jersey. Newt Gingrich is 73, former Speaker of the House. He doesn't have much left in his political future either. But youngish Republicans, or Republicans certainly of a younger generation, have been a little bit less reluctant to offer themselves up to Trump as a potential running mate. Mike Pence has had no such hesitation, and he is complied with the vetting process, and he now is quite clearly not only on the short list, but in every visible sense, the most likely choice for Trump. And Major, we're looking at some of the other potential uh, picks that uh, the Trump campaign has been reported to be vetting. Uh, we've seen, perhaps because of their runs uh, for the presidency, uh, that Chris Christie and former House Speaker Newt Gingrich can be attack dogs. Can Mike Pence also be an attack dog? Of his own kind. And that's important and an important distinction. And of the other two, Gingrich and Christie, they had much stronger personal relationships. And that's one of the reasons Trump was drawn to them. He really does rely on that gun instinct and personal relationships. 
but it has been his family and those political advisors around him who have said, really, you should get to know Pence a little bit better. You should see the upsides he brings or might bring to the ticket. And that's why you're seeing the choreography I just described before, which is the sit down. Pence and Trump spent a lot of time together last night after their fundraiser, a very successful fundraiser here. This is now the second intense face to face conversation between Trump and Pence and now his close personal advisors within his family. All of that happening tells you that that gravitational pull that the family and his political advisors wanted Pence to possess, Pence now possesses and is in the best shape by far to become the nominee as vice president on a Trump ticket. All right, Major Garrett there in, in, in Indianapolis, right in front of Governor Mike Pence's uh, residence there, where we know that Donald Trump is uh, meeting with him along with his family members. We're going to keep an eye out on that pool camera. If there's any movement, we'll bring that to our viewers.